Today is our 18th day, December 15th, of our 40-day Christmas trip to Christmas. Uh, today's topic is Joshua and the Fall of Jericho. Today, we're going to read from our favorite bedtime children's Bible, a story based on Joshua 1 and 6 from the Bible. Before we begin, Alicia is going to explain to us a little craft that we can work on while we're listening to our story. Okay, so all you need is paper, scissors, glue, and stickers. Um, and then you could make a little horn. Okay. Any color paper you want. Okay, so while we read, follow along making your craft with Alicia. Bible story based on Joshua chapter 1 and 6. God wanted his people to capture the city of Jericho. Now Jericho was a city surrounded by huge walls. The people of Jericho closed the big heavy gates in the wall and guarded them so no one could go in or out of the city. Joshua was the leader of God's people, and God told Joshua to tell the people to march around the city of Jericho once a day for six days. The priests were to march in front of the holy box with some soldiers in front of them and other soldiers behind the holy box. Then, on the seventh day, he wanted them to march around the city seven times. And that's not all. God said the priests were to blow their horns and give a loud shout and then the walls would fall down. This may have seemed like a strange way to knock down the city walls, but the people trusted God and did exactly what he asked them to do and the walls fell down. So Alicia, what did God ask his people to do at the wall of Jericho? To march around the city six times. Mm -hmm. And to blow the horns. Yeah, and make lots of loud noises, right? Yeah. And what happened when the people trusted God and did as he said? It happened. They got what they wanted, the walls fell down. That's right. And is that a way that you would take down a wall? Do you think yelling? No, I would and, use and, a hammer. Oh, you would use a hammer. Yeah, so if God ever said to you, hey, Alicia, to knock down that wall, you should use a blow on a horn and walk around the wall. Would you believe him? Yes, because he's God. Oh, okay. So today's story was about trust. And what is trust, Alicia? Um, to, for someone to do what's best for you. Yeah, it's when you trust someone, when you trust someone, it means that we believe that what the person asking us to do has the best for us or wants the best for us even if we don't always understand how this will happen. And today, in today's Bible story, we see how God gave the Israelites some instructions that didn't make much sense. But when they trusted God and they did what he said, amazing things happened. So Alicia, what did you make? Um, so, I'm not really done, but I made, um, a horn. Yeah. That, 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 um, so. What could you do with this horn? You can hang it on your Christmas tree. Yeah, that's right. And so we made a horn out of paper so that we can attach it, maybe like Joshua did, to his belt. To re and to remind us of what we learned from the story today. And what did we learn from the story today? That to trust God. Yeah. That we are taught by our parents, 
by the Bible, by the church, that we should trust no matter what, even if it seems strange.